My name is Mrs. Helen, and I'm your English teacher. And I'm Mr. Zach, and I'm your English teacher too. This is the fourth lesson, so welcome to the class. Welcome. Welcome. So, for our topic today, we have family members for general English A1+. Trevan delika kotilis tema kahlaut ojahis seurebi zogadi inglisuri done a erti pliusi. So, for our agenda today, we have some vocabulary, and next we will be doing some reading comprehension. And then there will be some grammar for you, and also we have the summing up and the homework, our favorite part. Thank you. Trevan deli gakotilis kanrigi gakhlaut lexika zakit khulis gazreba sada tskan wichilaut zalian sa intereso textevs asave kwekne ba gramatikis sektia gakotilis shejame ba da ratkma unda sashina odawale ba. So Helen. Do you have a big family? Oh, I have a large family, Zach, because I have a daughter, you yes. know. I have a husband, you know. I do. I have a mother, a father, two sisters, a brother, really? aunts, uncles, and a lot of cousins. Wow, yes. very big family. I'm a very rich person, you know? Oh, of course. <laughs> and what about you? Well, I don't have that big of a family. Mm -hmm. I have a mother and a father. Mm -hmm. I have one brother mm -hmm. and no sisters. Yeah, I have one grandmother. And I have a few aunts and uncles and a couple of cousins. Couple of, but I have a lot of. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> okay, Zach, what do you like to do with them? Hmm, I like to watch movies, and we like to play music together, mm -hmm. and also we cook together. So you play music. We do, yeah. Your family we do, together, all together. Fantastic. We all play different instruments. Good. Yeah. So great. Oh, exactly. And how about you with your family? Hmm. I like go camping yeah. with my family members whenever it is a great weather outside, and I also like to have big meals with them. Really? Oh, mm -hmm. very big meals for your big yes. family. Do you know what we call it in Georgian? What was it? Supra. Oh, Supra. Yes. Yeah? Oh, very okay. cool. Okay, remember that. I will remember. You will need that. Of course. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, now let's move on to the vocabulary part. So, we will discuss the vocabulary and then go through them one by one. Good. Let's start. Let's do it. Okay. So, the first one is Grandfather. Babua. And next is Grandmother. And you have a grandmother? I do, yes. Bebia, Rogurtsaki Ambops. And next is mother. Teda. And I know you're a mother. Yes, she is a doctor and she yeah. is a famous doctor. And next is father. Mama. Yeah. And after that is uncle. Pizza. And I have a lot of uncles. Yeah. Yes. And after that is aunt. Aunt, Teida, Mamida, Pizzola. Kartulshi, Aunt, Aux, Ramodeni, Meshesatwisi. And next is sister. Da. And after that is brother. Tsma. And lastly is cousin. Cousin. Kartulshi, Mas, Aseve, Aux, Ramodeni, Meshesatwisi. Pizza Shwili, Teida Shwili, Mamida Shwili. Now let's go through them one more time. So the first is gra is grandfather. Babua, arsebiti sacheli. And next is grandmother. Bebia, arsebiti sacheli. Then mother, a noun. Deda, arsebiti sacheli. Then father, a noun. Mama, aseve arsebiti sacheli. And uncle, a noun. Biza darogurzaki ambops arsebiti sacheli. And aunt, a noun. Aunt arsebiti sacheli. Kachsovt deida mamida 
Pizzola. And after that, sister a noun. Da arsebiti sacheli. And do you remember that I have two sisters? Oh, I do. I remember yes. that. And I don't have any. Oh, poor <laughs> Zach. <laughs> and next is brother a noun. Zma arsebiti sacheli. And you remember I have one brother. And do you remember that I have a brother? Oh, that's right. I Great. forgot. Great. And and lastly is cousin a noun. Pizza shvili, mami da shvili. Yeah. So now let's go to our first task for the vocabulary section mm -hmm. and fill in the family tree with the words. Lexic is tam dava lebis twist, she have said genealogy uri he, motsemulisit webit. Zach. Yes. So now mm -hmm. imagine that you are me. I will. Okay. Yeah. But you have to start doing this task from the beginning. I will do that. Okay. So I know for the first one, mm -hmm. across from grandfather. Mm -hmm. It should be grandmother. Great. Yeah. Well done, Zach. And do you know the one under grandmother? Or grandfather, you wanted to say. Oh, yeah, okay. exactly. Grandfather. Okay, no problem. I can read it. Okay, I think it should be uncle because I see father and I see aunt here. That's why I think that one should be uncle. Fantastic job. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what can be the next one, Zach? Hmm. I mean the under aunt. So I know the one under aunt is the cousin. Yes, yeah. for sure. And what about the two next to me? Hmm, let's see. Next to me is my brother yes. and my sister. Am I you right? You are totally right. And now for our next vocabulary task, please look at the definitions of the family members and guess the answer. Lexiki sam davalebis twis tsaik itxet ojakhis tsevrebis ganmartebebi da gamoitsanit pasukhi. So Helen, can hmm. you tell me and do you remember who your mother's or your father's father is? Hmm. My mother's or my father's father. Oh, for sure, it is my grandfather. Totally right. Great job. And then what about your father's or your mother's sister? Hmm. My father's or my mother's sister. Oh, I remember that. Really? And it is ants. Oh, so and I nice. have a lot of ants. Oh, really? Ah, yes. I have oh, just a few. <laughs> hmm. And now, Zach, mm -hmm. can you tell me your aunt's or uncle's child mm. is your... I can't remember. Maybe we should ask our friends. For sure. Yeah. So do you remember what your uncle or your aunt's child's name is? Oh, that's right. It's cousin. Very good job. Exactly. Yeah. Fantastic. And we have the uh, another one here, yeah. Zach. So your mother's and father's son is your... Mm. I believe my mother's and my father's son is my brother. Yes, yeah. for sure. Fantastic, oh, Zach. You. Oh, one more is left yes. here. You can ask me. Oh, I can sure. do that. So, I can do that. Oh, I bet you can. <laughs> so what is your mother's or your father's uh, daughter? Do you remember? Hmm, my mother's and my father's daughter is my sister, of course. Wonderful job. And do you remember that I have two sisters? I do, and do you remember that I have none? Yes, yeah. of course. <laughs> oh, what I see here, it's time for reading comprehension. Awesome. My favorite <laughs> part. Oh. Look here, Zach. Yes. What do you see in the picture? Oh, I see my friend Lisa and I see her big family. 
Wow, fantastic. And can you tell me some things about them? Or... Sure. Okay. So I know that Lisa is eight years old and she knows Italian very well. She's very smart and loves to go to school. She ha and she has a big family. She has a brother named Nick. And Nick doesn't like school very much and he likes to ride a skateboard. Uh, Nick and Lisa also have a sister, Anne. She, they love her very much because she is a baby and she can't talk. And I know that uh, Lisa has a mother and a father. And uh, Mr. John and, Mr. and Mrs. Mary, yeah, those are her parents. And I know that Lisa has a uncle Josh and two aunts, Layla and Katie. And uh, Katie has a child. His name is Bob. He is Lisa's cousin. And I know that Lisa has two grandmothers and two grandfathers. So Billy and Mona are Mr. John's parents. So uh, Rick and Jackie are Mrs. Mary's parents. You were very informative, Zach. Yeah. Such a big family. I know, right? Much bigger than my family. Oh, yes, mm -hmm. indeed. <laughs> so now let's move on to the reading comprehension task. So are the sentences true or false? Okay, I will translate now. For sure. Ahlakit zakit hulis gazre bistawale bashevas rulot. Ktrot kadats uted storia tuarats in that baby. Yeah, very good. Okay. So, for the first one, Lisa has a big family. Was that true or false? <laughs> of course, Zach. I remember from the text that Lisa has a big family. Oh, very good. So, this sentence is true. Oh, very good. Awesome, you're totally right. Yes. And for John and Mary have four children. Was mm. that true? Do you know? So I remember that John is Lisa's father mm -hmm. and Mary is Lisa's mother. And they have only three children. So I think that this sentence is false. Oh, very good. You're totally right again. Thank and you. And then for the third one, mm -hmm. uh, Lisa has four grandparents. Do you remember? Mm, let me think. Yes, Lisa has four grandparents. Yes. Oh, great job again. And what about the fourth sentence, mm, Zach? I think I can do it. Okay. So Nick and uh, Lisa have an uncle. Hmm, I think that's true because his name is Josh. Yes, for sure. Yeah. Great memory, oh, thank Zach. Thank you. And what about the next one? Lisa has two brothers. Oh, I can't remember. Maybe we should ask our friends. For sure. Yeah. So do you remember if Lisa has two brothers? Oh, that's right. Thank that's you again right. for helping Fantastic. me. Yes, it's... Uh, she it's false because she has one brother Nick and her baby sister Anne. Great yeah. and we have got the last one. Yes, Are I, you ready? I think I'm okay, ready. Okay, so let's do it. Lisa has a cousin. Oh, I think that's true. Uh -huh. and, her, and his name is Bob. Yes. Yeah. Now, let's read the answers again. Let's do it. Okay. So one, Lisa has a big family. That's true. And two, John and Mary have four children. That's false. And three, Lisa has four grandparents. That's definitely true. Let me read now. And I will go on. Sure, go okay. for it. Okay, fourth one. Nick and Lisa have an uncle. That is true. Yes. Fifth one, Lisa has two brothers. And that is false mm -hmm. because Lisa has one brother. And the last one, Lisa has a cousin. And that is true. Awesome job. 
Thank you. And now let's go to the next reading comprehension part and fill the gaps with the correct words. Okay, Zach. Achlaki meure dava lebistroa. Shiavset kamot oebuli adgilebi sorry sitoebit. And Zach, yes. can you do the first one for me? Because I'm can. always the first one. Oh, for sure. Let's okay. change it up a little bit. Okay. Yes. So one, Lisa Blank likes to ride a skateboard. Hmm, I think I know this one. Mm -hmm. It should be brother. Of so course. Lisa's brother likes to ride a skateboard. Great, fantastic. What about the second mm. one? Lisa and her brother Nick love their blank very much. Oh, I can't remember. Let's ask for some help. Okay. So do you remember? Lisa and her brother Nick love their blank very much. Oh, what was it? Oh, that was right. Thanks yes. again, sister. Yes. Yeah? For sure, Zach. Mm -hmm. And can you do the third one also uh, I for think me? I could do this one okay. by myself this time. Number three, blank Katie has a child, Bob. Is that true? I believe, I think it's aunt. So, aunt Katie has a child, Bob. Well done, Zach. Mm -hmm. Well done. Thank you. And what about for the fourth one? Do you know? Hmm, let me think. Bob is Lisa's. Hmm, Bob. I think Bob was Lisa's cousin. Yeah, very good job. You're Thank right. You. Yeah. And I can do the fifth one also. I bet you can. Okay. So Josh does not have children. Josh was Lisa's uncle. So Uncle Josh does not have children. Great job again. Okay. And can you do the sixth one for me too? Mm, okay. Lisa has two blank and two blank. And I remember from the text that Lisa has two grandfathers and two grandmothers. Okay. You have such a good memory. Thank you. And now let's go through the answers one more time. For yeah. Sure. Okay. So for the first one, Lisa's brother likes to ride on a skateboard. And two, Lisa and her brother Nick love their sister very much. And three, uh, Aunt Katie has a child named Bob. Let yeah. me know. And of Zach. course, go ahead. And the fourth one, Bob is Lisa's cousin. And the fifth one, Uncle Josh does not have children. And the last one, Lisa has two grandfathers and two grandmothers. We have done it well. Mm. I think so. What do you think? I think we did it well too. Okay, yeah. and now... Let's move on to the grammar section. Okay. And now let's discuss pronouns. In English, we have subject pronouns and object pronouns. Rogor zagma guitra, English surshi, chuen quax, subjecturi piris natural sahelebi, da aseve objecturi piris natural sahelebi. So, do you remember from the text that Lisa has a big family and she has a big family? So, Lisa is the subject, so we must change it to a subject pronoun. Rogor zagma guitra, Magalici, Lisa has a big family. Lisa gachlaut subjekti. Kvem debare. Anu is fin sasruleps mokmedebas. Kolombe ore magalici, she has a big family. Lisa chanatslebulia subjekt uripiris natsol sahelit. She. Now for object pronouns. So Lisa and Nick love Anne. And Lisa and Nick love her. So, Anne is the object, so you must change it to an object pronoun. 
როგორც საკმა გვითხრა, მაგალითში, Lisa and Nick had love and ენი გახლავთ ობიექტი, ანუ ის ვისკენაც არის მოქმედება მიმართული. ხოლო მეორე წინადადებაში Lisa and Nick love her, ანა ჩანაცვლებულია ობიექტური პირის ნაცვალსახელით her. And now I have a few examples for you for subject pronoun. So I have a big family. You have a big family. He, she, it has a big family. We have a big family. They have a big family. And for object pronouns, for some examples, uh, Lisa loves me. Lisa loves you. Lisa loves him, it, and her. Lisa loves us. And Lisa loves them. თქვენ ახლა ხედავთ სუბიექტური და ობიექტური პირის ნაცვალსახელების სრულ მაგალითებს. Awesome. So now let's move for to the next task for grammar. So please fill the gaps with the correct pronouns. გრამატიკის ამ დავალებისთვის შეავსეთ გამოტოვებული ადგილები სწორი პირის ნაცვალსახელებით. And Zach. Yes. Can you do the first one for me? I think I can. Okay. So, blank is Lisa's dad. Blank has a wife named Mary. Hmm, I think I know. So, he is Lisa's dad and he has a wife named Mary. And Great. we change them both to he because they are both subjects. Great. Well done, Zach. Can you do the second one sure, also I, for me? I think okay. I can. Okay. So, blank is a skateboard. Hmm, I think it's it. So, it is a skateboard. And again, for this, it is it. So, we had to change the subject into a subject pronoun. And can you do the third one also? I think so. Let's see what I can do. Mm -hmm. So, for the third one, Lisa's talking for this one. So, blank have a big family. Hmm, I think we need a little help here. Let's ask our friends. Okay. So, again, Lisa is talking. Blank have a big family. Hmm, what do you think it could be? Oh, that was right. Very good. I, because it's the subject. So, I have a big family. So, how about you, Helen? Can you do the next one hmm, for me? For sure. Let me read firstly. Nick and Lisa have a little sister. They love blank very much. Hmm, let me think. They is a subject in the sentence and we need an object here. But I need an object pronoun and I remember from the grammar section that here we need her. Am I right, You're Zach? You're totally right. Great job again, Helen. And maybe the fifth one, could you do that of for course, me? Of course, for sure. Our grandparents often take us to, t to the park. Am I right? You're totally right. Great job Thank again. Thank you. And maybe the sixth okay, one. Okay, the last one. Can, yeah. And I see that it is Lisa's words. Yes? Mm -hmm. Cousin Bob loves blank. Hmm, let me think. I think that we need here me. So, Cousin Bob loves me. Am I right, sir? You're so right again. You're okay. doing great today. And now, let's move on to the next grammar practice, where we will circle the correct pronouns. Grammatiki sam tawalebistwis, shemo khazet stori piris natsol sakhelebi. So for the first one, Helen, do okay. you know which is the right pronoun? Okay, let me think. Lisa is younger than he or him. I think we need object pronoun here because we have 
subject pronoun already. Mm -hmm. So we need here him. Am I right? Great job, yeah. And Thank what you. about the second one? Lisa knows Italian. She knows it, them very you. well. Hmm. Let me think. She knows it. Okay. Yeah. Am I right? You're totally right. Thank you. And what about for the third one? Could hmm. you do that for me? Mary loves us, or we very much. Hmm, Mary is the subject I know and I need an object pronoun, so I need here us. Awesome. Great Thank answer. You. And now, can you do the fourth one for me? Sure I can. Okay. So, for the fourth one, they, them, have a big family. Hmm, I think it's they because this is, we need the subject pronoun for mm -hmm. this one, yeah? And then for the fifth one, I could do two. So, grandparents often take they, them to the cinema. Which one do you think it could be, they or them? Oh, that's exactly right, them. It's the object pronoun. So, grandparents often take them to the cinema, yeah? Yes. Was that right? Yes, yeah. of course, for yeah. sure. And can you do the six ones? I think I can. Okay. So, for the sixth one, she, her, likes to go to school. I think we need the subject pronoun. So, it's she needs or she likes to go to school. Well done, no. Zach. Oh, thank you so well much. Well done. Awesome. So, now, the best part, of course, is the homework. So, for now, write about your family members. Sashinao davalebistwis, that's it. Tkveni ojachis tsaurebis shesachev. So, Helen, can you hmm. give us a, an example of what the homework hmm. could look like? Okay, of course. So, hello, my name is Helen, as you know mm -hmm. already. I have a big family. I have a mother, a father, and also I have a sister and a brother. They are very smart and I love them very much. Oh, fantastic. I also have a lot of uncles and a lot of aunts mm -hmm. and I also have a lot of cousins. Wow, such a big family. Yes, and what about you, Zach? For sure. Can you do the same? I think I can. Okay, let's so, see. I am Zach, and I have one brother. I have a father and a mother, and I have one grandmother, mm -hmm. and I have two or three aunts, and a couple of uncles, and uh, some of uh, cousins. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Well done, Zach. Thank you. And please send your homework to the address on the screen. Sashinao davalebebi kamuagzaunet ekranze mititebul misamartze. Oh, I think it's time to finish our lesson. We have to go. Yes, of course. That's, that's disappointing. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. See you next time. Thank you.